Welcome back for another video. I am Mike and the software guy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clone a large hard disk to a smaller SSD. Switching your hard drive to a SSD base is going to speed up your computer 5 to 10 times and it's going to give you new life to your laptop or, or your desktop. This is my second video on how to clone your hard disk to a SSD. Be sure to watch my channel on the other video of using a Cronus to clone your hard disk for a laptop. Many of you guys probably have many laptops lying around not getting used because it is too slow. That is exactly why I'm doing this video and to show you guys how to bring new life. Now, the focus of this video is really focusing on how to clone a larger hard disk to a smaller SSD to save money. You don't always have to have the same size um, SSD because they can get expensive. So if you don't use um, all the disk space in your hard disk or your older HDD, then this is the video you want to watch. And I have many issues trying to use a Cronus and this is why I'm trying a different software called Mini Tools, the Shadow Maker. And this is the free edition. Now, if you guys bought a same size SSD as your HDD, you're not gonna have any issue using either Cronus or Mini Tool. So this is not the video for you if you have the exact same size. For me, I had a problem since I bought a smaller SSD to save money to replace it. I know ahead of time that I don't need um, a terabyte of space in my hard disk. And I bought a smaller version of the SSD. And I had a lot of trouble trying to use a Cronus. And I often get the resize error. Please watch the next few steps to do that using mini tools. Before we start, just a couple of things you're going to need for the cloning. You're going to need a USB SATA 3 hard drive adapter cable. You're going to need your SSD. You're going to need a mini laptop screwdriver if you are replacing in a laptop. You're going to need triangular picks for that to open up the laptop. And if you're doing a desktop, you may need some different tools. For the sake of this video, we're going to focus on a laptop. The first step is downloading the mini tool shadow maker software, the free edition. I'm going to have a link below in the video for you to click and the link for other tools that I mentioned earlier like the USB SATA cable. The second step is plugging your SSD using your SATA cable into your laptop. Now install your Mini Tools Shadow Maker software and launch it. Here I'm going to show you a couple of steps how I clone a larger hard disk to a smaller SSD. Once you install the software, launch and you see these options. So click on Tools. There you see option for cloning disk. Click on that and you see two pop up and there you have source and destination. Here you have the first disk is being your source, which is your one terabyte hard drive. And the second one is destination, which is my 500 gigabyte SSD. So I'm going from one terabyte to 500. And as you're selecting them, make sure you click finish for each one and then you can start cloning. Now you should get a operation is complete successfully and this may take hours, depending on the size of your disk. Um, I have about 100 gigabyte out of one terabyte that I need to clone. Therefore, it took me about uh, two hours. So it may take a uh, short time or it may take a longer time, depending on your size or your uh, hard disk and the amount of data you're copying. If you guys reached this step and were successful at cloning, congratulations. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. The last thing to do now is swap out your HDD and swap in your new SSD. 
I'm going to end this video by showing you guys my HP laptop swapping in the new SSD.